Hello, welcome to the section session. In the previous section, we have learned about the schema and the type in the GraphQL. In this session, we will learn about the what is introspection and how to use it in the query. Sometimes the client does not aware of the schema of GraphQL because every API does not have well defined documentation or a GraphQL playground. Using the introspection, we can create the GraphQL query to obtain the details of schema itself. Using the introspection, we can obtain the supported query details, obtain the type details, which includes the field type, name, etc. In GitHub API Explorer, here is a document explorer. It contains the all details about the schema. It generated from the introspection. All reserved field names start with the double underscore. That's why it's not suggested to prefix your own field with the double underscore. The type field is used to obtain the editor for the particular type. In the argument, we need to specify the name of type for which you want to obtain the editors. Here I am going to obtain the editors for the user type. Note that name of type will be a case sensitive. For now, I am going to obtain just the name and the description only. Let's execute this query. Here we got the value for name and description. Let's cross verify this in the document. Search for the user. Here is a description. It is the same as we got in the query. This user type implement those interfaces. We can also obtain this too. Let update the query, obtain interfaces, and select just name. Execute the query. We got the name for all the interface. Here are the field for that type. Add a fields in the query. For a field, select the name and a description. Execute the query. Collapse the interfaces. Here we got the name as well as the description for each field. Now we will obtain the type for each field. In the name field, it will provide the name of the type only if it's a scalar type. For the other type, we need to use the of type field and select the its name. In the kind field, it contains the kind of a field. It can be a scalar, interface, union, enum, input object, list, or non null. Let's execute this query. Here we got the name in the of type field, and within the name field, we got the null. In the case of bio, we get the string value in the name field and null in the of type. This kind field contains the scalar where bio.html is a not null. We can also obtain the list of argument if field have. For this we need to use the args and just obtain the name. Here any pinnable item has a one argument name type. Let's open the it's a detail in the document explorer. It's the same. Let's see what we have learned in this session. Using the introspection, we can query the data to the GraphQL schema itself and obtain the detail for the supported query, mutation, type, field, or argument, etc. Here is a query that we have created. We need to use the double underscore type field and pass the name of the type in the name argument. Here I have obtained the name, description, interface. For a field, obtain the name, description, argument, and the type. I suggest you to modify this query and try to obtain the details for the other kind of type fields. Stay tuned for the next session.